Um, things that annoy me on the road enormously, I've got my top ten. They change on a daily basis almost because you always see something, don't you? Mm -hmm. And so top ten at the moment for me. Uh, number ten, drivers who hog up behind you, get right up close behind you, almost as though your back bumper is magnetic or you've got a Star Trek-like tractor beam <laughs> behind you. Why do they do that? Number nine, um, motorcyclists who don't have dip beams on their on their bikes. They drive with the lights on, and they come up right behind you. Yeah. They go past you. They haven't got dip beam, have they? No. So they dazzle you, mm, but they yes. don't care because they're motorcyclists. Cyclists who go through red lights <sighs> as if they think they're pedestrians. <sighs> yeah, that's really annoying. And it's not always teenage thugs. Sometimes it's Sloan Rangers mm. on sit up and begs with brogues and cycle <laughs> clips. <laughs> Wee they go through the red lights. That's at number eight. At seven, it's people who don't say thank you. You, you. you pull over, there's parked cars on the other side of the road, and they come past, so it's your right of way, but you've let them come past, and they don't wave. Yeah. And by the time you realise that they're not going to wave, it's too late to give them the finger. <laughs> So that is at number seven. At number six, elderly drivers who, when they're turning off a main road into a suburban estate, change down through the gears <laughs> and eventually crawl round the bend in second gear. <laughs> Just get, you know, get off the road. <laughs> You're only turning... Posh women in four-by-fours are at number five. Right. I don't know what it is. It's something to do with the tremendous cut they have on their hair. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? They're in those big 65,000... Range yes. Rovers, and they've got that hair for it. At number four, it's all the police look-alike vehicles that you get on the road uh, now. Yes. Not that long ago, there were police cars and that was mm. it. You knew your ambulances and your fire engines, but now you get fire cars that look like police cars. Yeah. You get paramedics that look yeah. like police cars. Motorway maintenance. Motorway maintenance. <laughs> the number of times I've pulled over <laughs> to let them get through to the scene of the bank raid. <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing? They're checking for stones. <laughs> <laughs> so that is really annoying. At number three, I don't need to elaborate on this, learner drivers. Yeah, yeah it goes without yeah. saying. At number two, I don't need to elaborate on this, mini cabs. <laughs> But at number one, the big bugbear that I've got at the moment, because I get a lot of this on the A27, which is a dual carriageway, mm -hmm. and it's a dual carriageway practice carried out by lorries. And what they do is they seem, there seems to be something in the Bible that says that lorries can't go at more or less than 56 miles an hour. <laughs> but one of them can go at 56.1 or <laughs> one of them can't get past 55.95, <laughs> so the one that can do 56.1 uh, overtakes. <laughs> and then you get these two massive lorries <laughs> on a dual carriageway, and they're going along side by side, like something out of a C.W. McCall country and western song, and the traffic's backed up to Guildford and beyond, and we can't bully them because they weigh the, s the same as a small English village. <laughs> Now, I mean, I want these guys, if they can, to explain why it is that they think they have to do this, or are they, in the words of the prophet, having a laugh?